Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today is finally the day Art Addicts Alliance is uploading their videos. Woo! If you don't know what Art Addicts Alliance is, it's a group or a collective kind of thing that me and a bunch of amazing artists here on YouTube set up. All the other artists are linked down below so please check them out and if you don't know someone and you come across them and you really like this stuff, tell them I sent you. Be like, hello, Evie sent me. <laughs> Other than that, we have a Facebook page if you do not know and what we do is every month we put up a poll. The newest poll was uploaded today or put up today so please go Go check it out put in your vote for next month's theme but for this month the theme that won was circus freaks so that's where we're getting our idea from this month it's also our first month uploading so really excited but yeah that's enough talking about the alliance now on to the artwork for this piece of course we have to do circus freaks and as soon as i heard the theme circus freaks i was like bearded lady i have to do the bearded lady <laughs> don't ask me why it's just when i think of circus freaks i think the bearded lady when i went a little bit into it when i dove into it to get references and stuff like that i came across the painted lady as well which is just woman full of tattoos and I was like oh I don't know now I don't know what I want to do so I decided to combine the two so she's the bearded painted lady yeah so basically that's where I got my idea also with the color scheme as you can see at the very start I stained my page with tea that's because I wanted to give the page a very old antique -y kind of feel just because when I was looking up references and stuff I came across a lot of old posters and they were stained from time and just age and I really liked the look of them so that's the kind of thing I wanted to go for now I have had kind of trouble with this uh, just because I wanted to show her back because of course she's the painted lady and I wanted her covered in tattoos but at the same time I wanted her looking over her shoulder so you could see her beard because of course if she's looking away you can't see her beard that's basically what I tried kind of exorcism-esque where her head is turned slightly too much she looks kind of uncomfortable <laughs> in my opinion maybe you guys don't agree maybe you have tips or whatever to combat that in the future but I don't know I just I couldn't find find a comfortable looking pose I suppose. In the end I was I was happy with how it turned out in the fact that colours mesh well together. It looks like a very old poster kind of but definitely with that watercolour feel. I just I don't know I just really enjoyed it but overall she looks kind of janky. <laughs> I, I mean practice 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 only makes improvements so. After I stained my page uh, I had my sketch all done ready to go and I was going to use the light box to try and transfer it onto the page but when I stained the page with the tea it was near impossible to see the sketch through on the light box so I had to use tracing paper. I forgot what a nuisance tracing paper is because wow it just takes an awful long time so and on top of that it's just I just get kind of sloppy I suppose when I use tracing paper sometimes. This time I tried to slow myself down take my time. It was an awful lot of like drawing and redrawing because when you trace you have to put the tracing paper down trace it flip it over trace it again and then transfer it because obviously it will be backwards if you don't do that so that's why I love the light box so much but uh, anyway, I got it onto the page and then when I got it onto the page, I lined it with my fine liners. Uh, I used black fine liner for her tattoos and her pants kind of thing and then brown for the rest of her. Then I went in with my watercolour. I wanted to keep it kind of grayscale, just like a black and white poster, but I did want like spots of red just to highlight areas of her and I think it turned out nice. I really like it other than her slightly odd positioning. I like it. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think. I had so much fun doing this first piece for the Alliance and I really hope you guys go across to the Facebook page and vote and visit everyone down below who has participated in this month's Art Addicts Alliance. So yeah, let me know what you think and I hope you have a great day. Bye!